This is lesson 564. This is a spelling dictation lesson. And in this lesson, we will be spelling words with new teams that you see on the screen. Let me review the sounds these teams represent. CH has three sounds it can represent. The primary sound for CH is CH, as in church, when CH represents its primary sound underline at one time. CH has a second sound that you hear in the word school. There, CH is representing the K sound, K. When CH represents the sound K, double underline CH, as you see CH double underlined in the word school. CH has a third sound it can represent, as in the word chef. In that word, CH is representing the SH sound, SH. When CH represents its third sound, SH, draw a dotted line under CH to indicate it's representing its third sound. So again, let me review. CH can represent three sounds, CH, as in church, in which case you underline CH once, K, as in school, when CH represents the K sound, double underline CH, and SH, as in chef. When CH represents the SH sound, put a dotted underline under CH. GH represents the sound G, as in the word ghost. The H is silent. GN represents the sound N, as in gnat. GU represents the sound G, as in guitar. GU is a team when U's only purpose is to prevent the G from being followed by E, I, or Y. Because when G is followed by E, I, or Y, that causes the G to represent its second sound, J. So when you encounter GU in a word, if it's followed by E, I, or Y, then underline GU to indicate it's a team representing the sound, G. KN is a consonant team representing the sound, N, as in not. KN may only be used at the beginning of a root word. RH represents the sound R, as in the word rhyme. SC represents the sound S. SC is only a team when it's followed by E, I, or Y. Otherwise, the S represents its own sound, as does the C, as in the word scatter. Their SC is not a team, but when SC is followed by E, I, or Y, such as in the word scene, as in a scene from the movie, then SC is a team. Here is a list of the consonant teams that we have learned throughout the entire program. Let me review them for you now. CH represents the sound CH, as in church. The second sound for CH is as in school. The third sound for CH is sh, as in chef. Remember to draw a dotted underline under CH when it represents its third sound. TCH represents the same sound as CH, but it must always have a short vowel directly in front of it, as in the word match. CK represents the sound k, as in rock, CK must have a short vowel directly in front of it. GH represents the sound G, as in ghost. GN represents the sound N, as in gnat. GU represents the sound G, as in guitar. KN, N, as in knot. And that's the knot you tie with a rope. NG represents the sound N, as in wing, and G must have a short vowel directly in front of it. PH represents the sound F, as in phone. That's the same sound as the letter F represents. In English, we don't use KW to represent the sound K and W combined qua. We use the team QU, as in the word queen. Now, QU also has a second sound, as in the word conquer, QU is representing the sound K, which is the K sound. When QU represents the K sound, double underline it. 
RH represents the sound R, as in rhyme. SH represents the sound SH, as in shell. TH has two sounds. The primary sound is TH, as in thumb. The second sound TH represents is TH, as in the. WR represents the sound R, as in rap. And WR must be used at the beginning of a root word only. WH represents the sound W, as in wheel. WH has a second sound, H, as in who. VE is a team when E's only purpose is to prevent the V from being the last letter in a word. English words do not end in the letter V. It represents the sound V, as in valve. CE is a team when E's only job is to cause the C to represent its second sound, and it represents the sound S, as in dance. GE is a team when the E's only function in the word is to cause the G to represent its second sound. Because remember, when C or G are followed by E, I, or Y, they will, in C's case, always represent the sound S. With G, there are a number of exceptions. Nevertheless, when E's only function following G is to cause the G to represent its second sound, it's a team and you underline it. And it represents the sound J as in lunge. DGE is a three-letter consonant team representing the sound J. It must have a short vowel directly in front of it. CI, SI, and TI are all consonant teams that represent the sound SH. CI, SI, and TI are teams when they come at the beginning of any syllable in a word after the first syllable in a word. SI represents two sounds. The, the primary sound is SH as in pension, but the second sound SI represents is zh, as in vision, and CI represents the sound sh, as in special, as does TI, it represents the sound sh, as in nation. I'm going to dictate nine rows of words, and all of these words will contain one of the new consonant teams. Row one. The first word is chaperone, chaperone. The parent volunteered to chaperone the dance. sha per own Three syllables. First syllable, sha, two sounds, sh, a. Per, two sounds, p, er. Own, two sounds, o, N. Sha per own. Now I want you to mark this word, and when I say mark the word, underline any teams, double underline any letter or letter team representing its second sound. If the word contains a silent E, underline the silent E. Then identify your vowel sounds. If you have two or more vowel sounds, then you must divide the word into syllables and you must apply the appropriate syllable rule number. Finally, associate vowel group numbers to your vowel sounds in the word. Once you've done all of those things, then advance the video screen to see if you've marked your word correctly. Sha, per, own. Notice CH has a dotted underline under it because CH here is representing its third sound, sh. Guide, guide. We had a great guide to explain what we were seeing. Guide. Three sounds. G, I, D. Guide. Take a moment and mark this word, and once you've completed doing so, advance the video. Guide. Now, GU is a team here because the GU is followed by I. Remember, GU is a team when it's followed by E, I, or Y, and thus the U is a buffer between the G and the E, I, or Y, allowing the G to represent its first sound, G. 
ascend, ascend. The climber did ascend the mountain. Ascend. Two syllables. First syllable, ass. Two sounds. A, s, send. Four sounds. S, e, n, d. Ass, send. Mark the word. Ass, send. When C is followed by E, I, or Y, it will almost always represent its second sound. Here, SC does not form a team because the S and the C do not remain together in the same syllable. Tech. Tech. I had to call tech support. Tech. Three sounds. T. E. K. Tech. Mark the word. Tech. CH here is representing the K sound, so we double underline CH. Row two. Orchid, orchid, a beautiful orchid grew in the forest. Or kid, two syllables, first syllable, one sound, or. Kid, three sounds, k, i, d. Or kid, mark the word, or kid. Here again, ch is representing the k sound, so we double underline it. Knack. Knack. That man has a knack for fixing engines. Knack. Three sounds. N, a, k. Knack. Mark the word. Knack. K-N can only be used at the beginning of a root word, and it represents the sound n. Ghost. Ghost. The young child thought he saw a ghost. Ghost, four sounds, g, o, s, t, ghost, mark the word, ghost, g, h, represents the sound, g, o, is representing the long sound here, so we indicate vowel group one, we have one vowel followed by a consonant, but we underline the one to indicate an exception is occurring, because O is long here, not short. Chrome. Chrome. That car has a lot of chrome. Chrome. Four sounds. K. R. O. M. Chrome. Mark the word. Chrome. Row three. Science. Science. My science class is third period. Science. Two syllables, first syllable psi, two sounds, s, i, ents, three sounds, e, n, s, psi, ents, mark the word, psi, ents. SC is a team here because it's followed by i. Notice I and E do not join together and form a team here. They separate into separate syllables. CE is a team because the E's only purpose is to cause the C to represent its second sound. CE represents the sound S. Rhodes. Rhodes. Rhodes is an island in Greece. Rhodes. Four sounds. R, O, D, Z, Rhodes. Mark this word, Rhodes. We capitalize the R because it is a name of an island. Schwa, Schwa. In English, the Schwa sound goes to the unaccented syllable, Schwa. Three sounds. Sh, wa, ah, schwa, mark the word, schwa. Notice there is a wave sign under the letter S. The wave sign indicates a letter or letter team is silent, as it is in this word schwa. Notice CH has a dotted underline because CH is representing its third sound, sh. 
And also notice A is representing the sound aw, and that is vowel group 8. When A comes at the end of a word, it usually will represent the sound aw. The next word is ache, ache. My body will ache after all that exercise, ache. Two sounds, A, K, ache. Mark the word, ache. Row four, chemist, chemist. The chemist worked at the drugstore. Chemist, two syllables, first syllable, k, two sounds, k, e. Mist, four sounds, m, i, s, t. Chemist, mark the word, k, mist. Resign, resign. You must resign yourself to follow the rules. Re. Zine. Two syllables. First syllable, re, two sounds. R, e. Zine, three sounds. Z, i, n. Re, zine. Mark the word. Re, zine. Rogue. Rogue. The soldier went rogue and provided intelligence to the enemy. Rogue, three sounds, r, o, g, rogue, mark the word, rogue. G, U is a team here, representing the sound g. The E at the end of the word is serving as a signal to the O to represent its long sound, Thus, vowel group three is in effect. Choral, choral. The choral work sung by the choir was very beautiful. Cor all. Two syllables, first syllable, core, two sounds. K, or. All, two sounds. Aw, ol. Cor all. Mark the word. Core all. A is representing its extra sound aw. When A is followed by L at the end of the word, it oftentimes will represent its extra sound. Row five. Rhino. Rhino. We saw a rhino at the zoo. Rhino. Two syllables. First syllable, rye. Two sounds, r, i. No, two sounds, n, o. Rye, no, mark the word, rye, no. Chronic, chronic. Unfortunately, he has a chronic illness, chronic. Two syllables, first syllable, cra, three sounds, k. R, a, Nick, three sounds. N, I, K. Chronic. Mark the word. Chronic. Rescind. Rescind. Unfortunately, we will have to rescind payment. Rescind. Two syllables. First syllable, re, two sounds. R, E. Send. Four sounds. S. I. N. D. Re. Send. Mark the word. Re. Send. Machine. Machine. The machine made a loud noise. Ma. Sheen. Two syllables. First syllable, ma, two sounds, m, a, sheen, three sounds, sh, e, n, ma, sheen, mark the word, ma, sheen. 
Here we have A representing the short sound. And so we underline the two to indicate there's an exception to vowel group two. We have a dotted underline under CH to indicate CH is representing its third sound, sh. And we have an X under the I. Now, when we have a letter represent a sound it normally does not represent, we put an X under that letter. And in this word, I is representing the long E sound, which is not a sound it normally represents. Thus, we put the X under the I. Row six, design, design. The architect's design was brilliant. D Zine. D has two sounds, D, E. Zine, three sounds, Z, I, N. D, Zine. Mark the word, D, Zine. Anchor, anchor. The ship dropped its anchor in the bay. Anchor. For spelling, pronounce the word ang. Core. Two syllables, first syllable ang, two sounds, a, ng. Core, two sounds, k, or. Ang, core, mark the word. Ang, core. Notice n is representing its second sound because it's followed by the k sound. When n is followed by the sound g or k, it will represent its second sound. And the second sound for CH is the K sound. Leprechaun. Leprechaun. The leprechaun is a mischievous elf in Irish folklore. Lep. Re. Con. Three syllables. First syllable lep. Three sounds. L. E. Re, two sounds, r, e. Con, three sounds, k, a, n. Lep, re, con. Mark the word. Lep, re, con. The next word is need. Need. The baker will knead the dough before placing it in the oven. Need. Three sounds, n, e, d, need, mark the word, need. Now this is a very different spelling from the most common meaning of the word need, as in I need help, which is spelled n-e-e-d. This need refers to part of the process of baking bread. Row seven, brochure. Brochure. I read the brochure and it looks great. Brochure. Now for spelling, pronounce it brochure. Two syllables. First syllable bro. Three sounds. B, r, o. Sure. Three sounds. Sh, u, er. Brochure. Mark the word. Brochure. Notice CH has a dotted underline indicating CH is representing its third sound. Shh. Scent. Scent. The dog can smell the scent of the lost child. Scent. Four sounds. S. E. N. T. Scent. Mark the word. Scent. Christen. Christen. The minister will christen the baby after the service. Chris. N. Two syllables. First syllable. Chris. Four sounds. K. R. I. S. N. Two sounds. E. N. Chris. N. Mark the word. Chris N. Notice T has a wave sign under it because it's silent in this word. It has no sound value, but you must have a T to spell this word correctly. Monarchy. Monarchy. 
The head of the monarchy is the king. Ma nar ki. Three syllables. First syllable ma, two sounds. M, ah. Nar, two sounds. N, r. Ki, two sounds. K, e. Ma, nar, ki. Mark the word. Ma, nar, ki. Row eight. Kneel. Kneel. The man did kneel down to say a prayer. Kneel. Three sounds. N, e, l. Kneel. Mark the word. Kneel. Harpsichord. Harpsichord. The woman knew how to play the harpsichord. Harp-si-cord. Three syllables. First syllable, harp. Three sounds. H. R. P. Si. Two sounds. S. I. Chord. Three sounds. K. Or. D. Harp. Si. Chord. Mark the word. Harp. S chord. Assign. Assign. The instructor will assign your place to sit in the room. Ass sign. Two syllables. First syllable ass. Two sounds. A s sign. Three sounds. S I N. Ass sign. Mark the word. Ass sign. Guitar. Guitar. He knows how to play a mean guitar. Guitar. Two syllables. First syllable, g. Two sounds, g. I. Tar. Two sounds, t. R. Guitar. Mark the word. Guitar. GU represents the sound G here. The U prevents the G from being followed by the letter I. When G is followed by E, I, or Y, it will oftentimes represent its second sound. Row 10. Obscene. Obscene. The man made an obscene gesture. Obscene. Two syllables. First syllable, ob. Two sounds. Ah, b, seen. Three sounds. S, e, n. Ob, seen. Mark the word. Ob, seen. Remember, S, C is only a team when it's followed by E, I, or Y, as it is in this word. Ghetto. Ghetto. The man lived in what was considered a ghetto, get-to, two syllables, first syllable get, three sounds, g, e, t, to, two sounds, t, o, get-to, mark the word, get-to, charlatan, charlatan, the man was an imposter and a charlatan. This is a three-syllable word, and you pronounce it for spelling char le tan Char has two sounds. Sh, R. Lay, two sounds. L, A. Tan, three sounds. T, A, N. Char le tan Mark the word. Char lay tan. Rhine. Rhine. The Rhine is a river in Europe. Rhine. Three sounds. R. I. N. Rhine. Mark the word. Rhine. We capitalize the R because it's the name of a river. And this completes the dictation of words from Lesson 564.